What is she doing? Okay. Don't fart in the bed. I, I'm not. It's the springs. This is why we never have sex. In Joker, the scene where Arthur punches the clocking in machine off the wall was not in the script. Lee Gill, who plays Gary, stated in an interview that during one take, Joaquin Phoenix suddenly decided to make a joke about punching out and then punched the machine clean off the wall. Oh no, I forgot to punch out. <laughs> in The Usual Suspects, when Redfoot flicks his cigarette into the face of McManus, it was originally intended to hit his chest, so McManus's reaction is Stephen Baldwin's real unscripted reaction. Get the fuck off my fuck. dick. Nope. Nope. In Independence Day, they filmed Will Smith dragging an alien across the salt flats of Utah. Nobody warned him of the horrible smell that sometimes comes from the Great Salt Lake due to billions of dead brine shrimp each year. And what the hell is that smell? The director found it funny and left it in. I could have been at a barbecue! While filming End of Watch, Officer Brian Taylor flashes a Code 4 signal at a helicopter. This wasn't scripted and was an actual LAPD flight unit coming to check out the scene. Code 4 means no further assistance needed. In Star Wars The Force Awakens, Han drops his parka on the floor when he arrives at Starkiller Base. When he leaves, Chewbacca hands it back to him, and he reacts with confusion. This part was improvised by Chewbacca's actor Junus Suetamo, who went off script, confusing Harrison Ford. In the scene in Kindergarten Cop where Arnold Schwarzenegger asks children, who is your daddy and what does he do? Many of the young actors were not given lines and instead are actually telling Arnold about their real father's job. Our mom says that our dad is a real sex machine. My dad is a gynecologist and he looks at vaginas all day long. While filming Mystery Men, a crew member on the set threw a disposable lighter into a trash can, unaware that it was a prop that would later be set on fire. The lighter exploded during a take, resulting in a sudden burst of flame behind Paul Rubens, who then improvised the now famous line. Excuse me. In A Knight's Tale, the scene in which Chaucer's speech to a crowd that gets no reaction was actually a goof. Behold my Lord Ulrich, we walk in the garden of his turbulence. Most of the extras were from the Czech Republic and didn't know English, so they didn't understand the cue to cheer. The director thought Mark Addy's improv was hilarious, so he kept it in. In one of the bedroom scenes in This Is 40, Paul Rudd's farts were real. The crew were not amused by this, but Leslie Mann stayed in the moment and improvised her outraged reaction. Don't fart in the bed! I, I'm not, it's the springs. This is why we never have sex. No animals were hurt in the making of The Revenant, except for when Leo kicked that horse in the face. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Ron Weasley falling off the couch wasn't in the script. However, the director found it hilarious and decided to keep it in. In the movie The Evil Dead, a happy accident occurs when Ash is burying his demonic girlfriend. When dropping dirt on the camera, part of his head is still visible. This wasn't intended to happen. In the Lego movie, the line, I'm not gonna remember by Vitruvius, was actually an outtake of Morgan Freeman getting frustrated with his lines being changed which the directors added in as a joke. Vitruvius! All right, you gotta write all that down because I'm not gonna remember any of it, but here we go. Fun fact, Vitruvius is blind. Writing it down will be of zero help to him. Vitruvius! All right, you gotta write all that down because I'm not gonna remember any of it, but here we go. In Scrooge, Bill Murray falling over on his way out of the restaurant was not scripted. He slipped on the water he had just thrown on the waiter moments before. Near the end of filming Gettysburg, hundreds of Confederate reenactors spontaneously mobbed Martin Sheen playing General Lee to show their appreciation. Sheen stayed completely in character, and the resulting scene was included in the final film. In Guardians of the Galaxy, director James Gunn has confirmed that Chris Pratt really did drop the orb by accident, but stayed in character and finished the shot. It ended up becoming one of Peter Quill's most hilarious moments.
In the movie adaptation of The Lord of the Rings, there's a humorous scene where Gandalf bumps his head on the doorframe entering Bilbo's hobbit hole. The fact that he hitting his head wasn't written into the script, but Ian McKellen played it off so well that Peter Jackson decided to keep it in. In Star Trek IV The Voyage Home, when Uhura and Chekhov ask about nuclear vessels, the woman who answers wasn't an actor. She discovered that her car had been impounded due to the movie shoot. She got herself hired as an extra and ad-libbed a line so that they'd have to pay her for the towing. Ooh, I don't know if I know the answer to that. I think it's across the bay, in Alameda. In The Sound of Music, Julie Andrews accidentally tripped during the musical number, I Have Confidence. The director kept it in because he thought it added to her character. In The Birdcage, Robin Williams' slip and fall during the shrimp scene was not planned. He genuinely fell, causing other actors to struggle to hold back their laughter. It's okay. We're all right. What are you standing there for? Go! Go! She'll be in a minute! Go! Damn it! Fuck the shrimp! In Dazed and Confused, when Matthew McConaughey said, Watch the Leather Man and starts laughing, he was high for real. He recently talked about it in a Howard Stern interview. Hey, hey, hey. Can you talk? Can you tell me what's going on? Yeah. In Captain Phillips, the medic in the infirmary scene was a real Navy medic, Danielle Albert. The director told her to treat Tom Hanks like it was a regular military exercise. The whole sequence was unscripted and improvised. I need you to calm down. I need you to breathe. There you go. Deep breaths. There you go. In Die Hard, the scene where Uli pockets a candy bar was improvised by actor and stuntman Al Leong. Writer Steven D'Souza said, that assured him a longer life. I was killing somebody every eight or 10 pages, but that moment made him interesting. He's one of the last guys to die. During a scene from Buster Keaton's Three Ages, he attempts to leap from one building to the next, but misses. The miss was not intentional, but he thought the miss was funnier. So he designed the rest of the gag around the mistake. The creepy and lethal character played by Scarlett Johansson in Under the Skin lured and seduced men into her van. Those men were not actors. They were filmed with hidden cameras and only told later about a movie being shot. Dustin Hoffman farted for real in the phone booth in Rain Man. It wasn't scripted and his and Tom Cruise's reactions were genuine. Did you fart, Rain? Fart. Did you fucking fart? Fart. Oh, the most memorable scene in Wolf of Wall Street might be the sequence in which Matthew McConaughey and Leonardo DiCaprio meet up for lunch in a restaurant and end up beating on one's chest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, that wasn't planned at all. Turns out, it's a funny warm-up ritual Matthew does to get ready for acting. Mm -hmm. 